So the Qualcomm has recently announced their newest mid-range processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. And this chipset is one of the biggest improvements I've ever seen over the last few years in the mid-range category. This processor has an upgraded architecture, improved graphics, improved CPU performance, improved efficiency, improved AI calculations and AI tasks and more. So in today's video, I will be giving you my in-depth analysis of this processor, starting with the NT29 benchmark. So the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 is demonstrating a superior performance over its predecessor, with a total N229 scores of 778,063, which is 22 times faster than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. This significant performance improvement is quite remarkable. If you look at the points of the N29 benchmarks of this processor, it is quite faster than older flagship processors like the Snapdragon 865, Snapdragon 855 Plus and more. When it comes to the Geekbench 5, the single core scores of this processor is 1225, which is 23% improvement over the last generation Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 1. Furthermore, the multi-core scores of this processor has demonstrated a significant improvement over 21%, resulting in a total score of 4052, which is quite impressive. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 has a total of 8 cores, with one ultra-fast core based on Cortex-X2 clocked at 2.91 GHz. And this is the first time I'm seeing the Cortex-X2 architecture on a mid-range processor, which is quite impressive. The three other cores are also remarkable based on a Cortex S710 clock at 2.49 GHz and the four power efficiency cores are based on a Cortex F510 that are clocked at 1.8 GHz. The Cortex X2 ultra fast core delivers exceptional performance and speed, while the other three cores offer stable performance and extreme speeds. And the other four cores offer power efficiency, making this processor versatile and capable of handling demanding tasks. Furthermore, the processor is based on a 4 nanometer process technology, which translates to less power consumption and producing less heat. The Cortex X2 architecture offers over 50% improvement in performance, reaching peak speeds up to 2.91 GHz. This processor reaching up to 13% improvement in power efficiency, enabling seamless on-device entertainment such as gaming, streaming, photography, and more. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 features the most fastest GPU in its lineup. The GPU is manufactured using 4 nanometer process technology, resulting in significantly enhanced power efficiency and speed. Moreover, this powerful GPU offers up to 2x performance improvement over its predecessor. Moreover, this GPU offers unprecedented 2x performance, which is quite impressive. The Snapdragon Elite Gaming features enable users to seize victory. The latest addition in this series is the Auto Variable Rate Shading feature, which optimizes power and performance by rendering the content a focus at full resolution and the rest at lower resolution, resulting in total efficiency. So the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 chipset leverages the new LPDDR5 RAM with the memory frequency of 3200 MHz. The chipset has a maximum memory bandwidth of 25.6 GB per second and it shares the same frequency and speeds of its predecessor. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 offers a powerful Qualcomm AI engine, which includes the robust Qualcomm Hexagon processor, providing up to two times AI performance. Additionally, the Qualcomm Sensing Hub is also equipped with a dedicated AI processor, allowing for contextually aware use cases, such as user activity recognition and acoustic sense detection. This chipset is also capable of supporting full HD Plus displays with a 144Hz refresh rate and the Quad HD Plus displays with a 120Hz refresh rate. And the 18-bit Qualcomm Spectra Triple ISP captured over 4,000 times more data than the 14-bit ISP, resulting in photos and videos with extreme dynamic range. The Mega Low Light feature enhances low light photography by merging the best aspects of 30 images into one stunningly vivid result, which means low noise and nighttime photos and videos. The video capture capabilities of this processor is kept on 4K at 60 frames per second, and the video playback is also kept on a 4K at 60 frames per second. This chipset is also capable of recording. 10 ATP videos at 240 frames per second, resulting in super slow motion footage. The Snapdragon X62 5G modem RF system provides exceptional 5G connectivity with the download speeds of up to 4.4 GB per second, exceptional power efficiency, and global compatibility. Furthermore, the latest addition to the series, 5G 4G Dual SIM Active, enables the use of two SIMs simultaneously, enhancing flexibility between work and play. For seamless streaming, gaming, and other activities, the fast running 6900 offers extremely fast and responsive Wi Fi and Bluetooth with a Wi Fi 6E in the Bluetooth version of 5.3. Wi-Fi 
fast speeds reaching a maximum of 3.6 GB per second. The fast connect 6900 operates on multiple spectrums, including 6 GHz, 5 GHz, and 2.4 GHz. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 outperformed its predecessor in both power efficiency and performance. This is due to the upgraded architecture and advanced technologies, resulting in a significant performance boost. With a frequency of 2.91 GHz, the chipset is suitable for extended gaming sessions, and its supports for the LPDDR5 frame ensure smooth and faster performance. As a result, the chipset offers impressive speed and performance, making it a compelling choice for consumers. And there are some rumors that this chipset will be featured on the upcoming Xiaomi Note 12 Turbo, which will be interesting to see that how that device will perform with this chipset. So that was my full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. If you found this review helpful and useful, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from our channel. And also if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Hamza, this is Headstick and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review on the Google Pixel 7 then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review on the Vivo iQ7 then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.